welcome to Bible Track Echoes. This program is the radio ministry of Bible Tracks Incorporated. Our mission is to take the Word of God to all the world. Our Bible teacher is the director of Bible Tracks, Pastor Mark Smith. Since 1938, Bible Tracks Incorporated has been publishing clear gospel tracks and supplying them to churches, missionaries, and individuals all over the world and all at no charge. Information on how you can receive a free sample pack of our tracks will be given at the end of this broadcast. Now for our Bible study, here is our teacher, Pastor Mark Smith. How do you do, my friend? Welcome to this broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you can, reach over and pick up your own copy of the Word of God and open it as I have mine open to the book of Galatians and chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1, in a moment I'll begin reading at verse 15. I'm going to read to the end of the chapter, and we're going to be dealing with Paul's gospel beginnings. So if you can, get your Bible ready there. Galatians, please, and chapter 1. Here's my question for you right now. What kind of people get saved? What kind of people get saved? In the book of Galatians, we've been reading about the apostle Paul and how he got saved. He was a religious man, highly educated man. He was a man, though, that murdered people out of his zeal for God. He, well, he was a terrorist. He terrorized the early church, yet God saved his soul. Yesterday, in our mail, we got a letter, a short note from a prisoner. I'm going to call him Mr. R. Mr. R is anything like the Apostle Paul. He's in prison, as I said. His crime for being there, I do not know. Uh, What was his life like before coming to Christ? He was very immoral. He was active sexually with both men and women. He was a follower of Wiccan, which is satanic worship. Yet Mr. R came to Christ. God saved his soul. He read a couple of our gospel tracks. One was the track Transformed. God gripped this Mr. R's soul, opened his eyes to truth, opened his heart to faith. Mr. R is now my brother in the blood of Christ. If you're listening and you know Christ, Mr. R is your brother. Does Mr. R have some has some issues to deal with and is growing with God? Absolutely, but His eternal life is his forever as a free gift from God. God saved his soul. Now, the gospel you and I are delivering around the world through Bible tracts has power. Mr. R has discovered the gospel power. Friend, are you and I telling the gospel and the power of the gospel, letting God save souls, change lives through the power of the gospel? I want to be doing that. You and I need to be doing that. As a matter of fact, Jesus in the book of Matthew, in the gospel of Matthew says, if you will come after him, he will make you to become. It's not an issue if you will. If you are following Christ, you will become a person who knows how to tell people the gospel. He'll make you a fisher of men. Dear friend, may I politely say that when people say they've been saved for a number of years and they've never become a gospel witnesser, it's because they're not really following Christ closely. And that's the bottom line to that. You say, Brother Mark, that's awfully straightforward and blunt. Yes, yes it is. All I'm telling you is what Christ actually said and meant there in the Gospel of Matthew. I want you, friend, to be my partner in the Gospel. I want to be your partner in the Gospel. Today, I don't care whether you've never shared the Gospel before. I don't care whether you've shared the Gospel many, many times. The issue is not where you are today, but where do you want to be six months in a year from now? If you've never shared the Gospel before, I want you to get the track that's in my hand right now. It's entitled, What God Wants Everyone to Know. What God Wants Everyone to Know. It's a clear, simple gospel track, very attractive. You can actually walk through this track, reading it with a person, and help them lead them to Christ. Because some people say, Brother Mark, I don't know how to tell the gospel. Okay, take this track, read it with a lost person, lead them to Christ using the track. We even give a a sample prayer at the back. You and I can share the gospel. It's our calling. You and I can see people come to Christ as God gives the gospel out through us. Only God can save a soul, but he allows us to be involved. Isn't it great? Oh, friend, 
at the end of the program, my announcer is going to come on and give you some ways by which you can communicate with us, giving us your name and your mailing address. When you do so, I will send you absolutely free of charge a sample packet of all of our English gospel tracks. This one, what God wants everyone to know will be in it. You be ready, have something to write with and write on and get that sample packet sent to you right away. Come with me now, the book of Galatians chapter one. I begin at verse 15 to the end of the chapter, a little longer passage. Here's what it says. But when it pleased God who separated me, that's the Apostle Paul, from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them that were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But other the apostles saw I none save James, the Lord's brother." Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Afterwards I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and was unknown by face unto the churches of of Judea, which were in Christ. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preaches the faith which once he destroyed, and they glorified God in me." This is one of those gospel passages where where well, many of us will find easy to glide over and pay very little attention to. Now, all of us know that the Bible, the Bible is all inspired by God and it's all profitable, but we are quick to admit and to say that we find certain parts of the Bible more profitable to us individually than others. The verses I just read are some of those other verses, verses that many people struggle to say, what profit are these to me? So why does a person interested in telling the gospel need this set of verses? And let me also ask this question, why does a lost person need to hear about these verses? Well, let's see if we can answer those two questions. Question number one, why does a soul-winning believer need Galatians 1, 15 to 24, especially verses 17 to 24. Now, keep in mind what the big picture is. The apostle Paul was giving answer to some criticism. He'd been accused of preaching different gospels to different groups, and he dealt with that one earlier in the early part of chapter 1. But now he's dealing with the criticism that his gospel was a man-made gospel, or at least he'd learned it from somebody else. And so the apostle Paul tells the people there in the churches of Galatia what he did after he got saved. As far as I can put it together. This is what Paul did. The apostle Paul did. Obviously, his original name was Saul, but this is what Paul did after coming to Christ. Verse 18 tells us he went to Jerusalem after three years. I believe this after three years means after the after he came to know Christ on the Damascus road, three years later, he went back to to Jerusalem. Verse 17 says he went into Arabia between the time of getting saved and going to Jerusalem. If we go to the book of Acts chapter 9, beginning at verse 20, we're told there that Paul preached in the synagogues in the city of Damascus. Well, look here at verse 17 of our passage. It says again, neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. Verse 17 uh, tells us that Paul went to Damascus after being in Arabia. And by the way, Arabia is a rather large trek of wilderness. Where exactly Paul was there, nobody knows, no matter what anybody says, nobody knows. Here's how I see it coming about. Step one, Paul gets saved on the road to Damascus. Step two, Paul gets alone with God and clears up his old theology, and it gets cleared up with God's truth. That happens in Arabia. I think God met him there. I think he had a, a met Christ personally there. 
Thirdly, the Apostle Paul goes then to Damascus and he begins to preach in the synagogues. Then, number four, Paul returned to Jerusalem and he met with Peter and James, James the half-brother of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here's the key lessons for those of us who know Christ. Paul got his truth from God himself. He spent time with God's word. He then shared the gospel and preached what the Bible actually says rather than telling his Jewish traditions that he'd learned at the feet of a great teacher, a Jewish teacher. If Paul found a truth clearly taught in the Bible, then he preached that truth. Paul did not need to go to Bible school to begin to preach. Oh, friend, it's okay to preach even if you've never been to an approved Bible college. What we don't need are preachers who don't spend time with God and don't preach what is clearly taught in the scriptures. We need preachers who are based their preaching on the word of God, where they get trained in an official Bible school or get trained on their knees with Christ. Uh, they, They become devourers of the word of God. We need men and women who spend time with God and his word. Question number two, why does an unsaved person need to hear about this set of verses? I think the answer is really simple. You may think that the church is full of hypocrites, and I'll guarantee you there are some people there that are. And you may think that all preachers ever talk about, whether in person, on the radio, on television, is money. But what you cannot say, what you cannot think, is that the truth on how to be saved from sin is a man-made parable, man-made story. Your greatest problem, my dear lost friend, is not your marriage. It's not your job loss. It's not the fact that you uh, you lack education. All these kinds of things are important. They're problems, to be sure. But none of these things individually or none of these things bundled together are come anywhere near your real and greatest need. You, friend, dear lost person, friend of mine. You are an enemy of God. His wrath abides upon you. You came from a long line of sinful human beings, starting back with Adam and Eve. You proved that you came from this line of sinners by actually committing sin yourself. And friend, because of your sin, you are under the curse of sin. You are under the condemnation of God. God has spoken. God has given his message and how to be saved from the wrath that is to come. His message is the person of Jesus Christ. Christ is the only means of heaven. Christ accomplished the gospel, the good news of how to be saved, because he came and died on the cross in your place. He shed his blood because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. He was buried. They buried him because his body was dead. But he arose from the dead to prove he has conquered death. His sin payment was sufficient. He now can really offer you everlasting life and prove it by the resurrection of himself from the dead. Friend, the answer to your sin is Christ not your good works, not your baptism, not all money to the church, not trying to outlive some Christian you know. If you can outlive the best Christian you know in your morals and yet don't come to Christ, you are lost and the wrath of God abides on you. Come to Christ, receive him as your Savior, and do so today. Today. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for Bible Track Echoes. If you would like to receive a free sample packet of our tracks, you can contact us by calling 309-828-6888. Our mailing address is Bible Tracks, P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. Again, our phone number is 309-828-6888. And our mailing address is P.O. Box 188, Bloomington, Illinois, 61702. You can also contact us through our website. Our web address is BibleTracksInc.org. Remember, the word tracks is spelled T-R-A-C-T-S. That address is BibleTracksInc.org. May the Lord richly bless you as you serve Him.